Good morning everyone. Well today I've got to do my 90 day sign on. Part of the requirements of um, a retirement visa is that every 90 days you have to go to immigration and sign on. So um, let's go down there. I'll take you with me and you can see what it's involved. Every day, late at night, not okay, all I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never I seen clearer I can't feel inside with the uh, immigration centre Because it's classified Obviously the uh, buildings, you're not allowed to um, film at all yeah, so once you come down to uh, John TM, to the uh, immigration office It's right on Beach Road Let me just uh, spin the camera around Right on the beach Lovely morning this morning just a very light breeze coming in off the sea but uh, very very warm and pleasant when you're down here you have to head for uh, Soy 5 which is the immigration office so you come down the beach road and look for this great big sign uh, you can't miss it so there's the sign that you need to look for Chumbri immigration and it is located Soy 5 I've got my my ticket i've handed my passport in they've told me one hour so uh, i've got to waste an hour somewhere i'll go back just uh, i think i'll go and have some breakfast and then come back in an hour to get my uh, passport and revise reporting date so as i say part of the um conditions of long-term or long-stay visas is that you are required to sign on with immigration every 90 days three months so it's quite an easy process um i'll come down here i put my passport in there's a slip of paper in there gives you a date to sign on and interesting uh, what people don't realize there is a date stamp on the reporting slip now that is just a window so you've got two weeks before and one week after that date to sign on um so you've got a three week window to let immigration know that you're still in the country and uh, you're still at the same residence so um it's an easy process as i say uh i've come down got my ticket told me one hour so yeah. i'm just wasting a bit of time at the moment to uh, to go back and um pick my passport up and that's all you need is just your passport you don't need any accompanying documentation once you've submitted your first 90 day report which gives you gives them the uh, your address and uh, your permanent address and uh, where you're living um, it's quite an easy process a lot of people go through a agent now i very very first reporting i did i went through an agent and i won't mention the uh, agent's name but they charged me 500 bar um which i thought was a bit excessive so subsequently, I've always done it myself. Okay, it's an hour, two hours out of your day, but um, it's saving you a little bit of money. Some agencies don't charge it, some do, but uh, the process of submitting your 90 day report is quite easy. And if you wanted to come down on the BART bus, say it's 10 BART, just jump on, jump off, and uh, they're passing here all the time. BART buses are an easy, convenient way of getting around. This is one coming down here. You just wave them down in the street, they stop, they take you on their route, and you just give them 10 baht. It's as easy as that, no fuss, a very quick and easy way of getting around the city. This is the soy that uh, the immigration is in. So I'm just walking around, wasting a, an hour. So you can come down here. If you're new to the area, you've got Cheap Charlie's there, which will do Western food, English breakfast, etc., which is very reasonably priced. Oh, you've got Thai establishments down here, but uh, the place is just waking up at the moment. So you've got the, uh, the convenience shops here. Got a post office, you need to uh, post anything. And you've got various, as if you nip in and have a hot oil massage if you wanted while you're waiting. But uh, this is the road. As you say, it gets very busy during the high season as you can imagine lots of people here so you need to time your uh, visits quite early get in and out without any hassle so there you have it got my passport got the next sign on date which is the 13th of november and the whole process took me from giving my passport in at 9 15 it's taken me 58 minutes to get my passport back so um save yourself 500 baht uh from the last time or the first time that uh, i've done this process so if you're here and you've got to do your 90 day reporting it is quick it is easy 
Um, so give it a go. Um, it's not a great deal of time. It's a couple of hours. Time to get here, get your passport in, get it back. Probably two hours maximum. The next time, stay safe. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Make a comment, and I will respond to all comments. Hello, everyone. And can I just take? 30 seconds of your time and ask you to hit that subscribe button um just looking at my anti analytics uh, i'm about 30 percent of you watch the videos and yet you don't subscribe can i ask you to please smash that subscribe button it doesn't cost you one penny and you won't receive any wonky emails um as a subscriber and if you do i'll be your bestest friend forever until the next time thank you Every day, let it die, not okay